Hello everyone, this is Frank Kutka at College of Menominee Nation, uh, working here in the Sustainable Development Institute's garden with our intern Brandon. And today we're doing one of our fall chores, which is digging up quack grass. So quack grass is an introduced grass species from the steppe of Asia. And I'm not sure exactly how or when it came over, sometime in the 1800s and it has made itself known. It is a very invasive species, and if you have it in your garden, you probably are thinking badly of it, even as I'm describing it now. Uh, we have been working against it for some time, and so we only have a few small patches, but as you can see here in front of me, here's a patch, maybe about two or three square feet, and I'm gonna dig that up right now and show you what makes this weed such a problem. You know. For one, of course, it's a perennial, so it, if a piece of it's here, it will be here again. And um, another, it's cool season, so if you don't get rid of it in fall, it keeps growing all through the fall, while most of us aren't thinking of gardening anymore. And it does one other wonderful thing, besides making seeds if you don't keep it in control, as it spreads underground. It has underground stems we call rhizomes. Its rhizomes are white and long and just a few inches under the ground. And all of these guys here are all part of the same plant. You can see these rhizomes all going out from the mother plant there, making little uh, stems on the way. Every time we see roots, there's a possibility of another shoot coming out right here. Eventually it would make sod out of our garden. So as long as it's got leaves above the ground, it's storing up food in these rhizomes for next spring to continue expanding and taking over the garden. So our purpose today is to not only cut off the leaves, which would be the minimum thing we should do this time of year, but also dig them up so that they can freeze over the winter above the surface but just look at that stuff it's made to spread and it does <laughs> so we are going to dig with uh, spading forks here very handy for this we've got relatively light soil thank goodness if this was clay it would be a workout and a half and we are going to dig up what we can and eliminate it so next spring we don't have any of it to be had that would be wonderful. And I hope everyone else gets a chance to get out their garden too and end up with the same result. Put this invader out of the garden. Look at all that. It's all rhizome. Every node along here where there's roots could make a new plant. And these leaves are feeding that, storing up food for next spring to make our garden very hard to control. <laughs> yeah. So hoeing them off at the very least, at least prevents them from storing food for spring, but actually digging them up is the best. And as you can see, even when it doesn't look like there's much here, there's plenty to be concerned with. It is my number one nemesis in the garden. All connected. Didn't get all of it even there, but got a bunch. Here's the growing point. It's actually very sharp. It keeps uh, shooting itself forward just a few inches under the ground. Spreading this plant all over, which is why it's a great noxious weed. <laughs> it's very good at what it does. <laughs> 